Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the $3 ad set budget strategy that I used in 2020. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm just in my laptop right now and I'm basically just going to be going through one of my ad accounts here. It's just one of my personal accounts. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly what I do when I set up my $3 ad strategy, okay? And now this isn't only the, the this isn't the only strategy that I use, guys. There's other strategies that I use to test products, but this is one that I use um, on specific products. And especially if you guys are have a lower budget, this honestly worked for me when I was doing lower budget ads. Um, and like I said, I do do different strategies now with bigger budgets, but this one works perfectly with a $3 ad set budget. And what I like to do is 10 ad sets at $3. So we're going to be going through here. Um, I don't have a pixel right now, so I'm not going to be using one. I don't need to set it up. Um, and what I'll do is literally just change this to $3, just like that, okay? Literally, you, you, that's possible to do, and it works really well. It's almost the same as $5, honestly. It works exactly the same. I don't see it working any different. And the beauty of it is that it actually saves you money in a sense, because if it works the same as a $5 ad set, then you know it's kind of the same thing, right? It's going to be helping you in the long run. You can have more margin on your products, and then all, always, I always start my ads at 12 a.m. That's just how it is. That's how it goes. Uh, sometimes a little finicky here, like that. Um, but then I'll go down, and what I'll do is I'll make basically um, I'll make this worldwide, like that, okay? And I'll exclude basically all the. Um, the tier one, not the tier one, like the tier three countries. So those countries are basically, uh, like there's a list on Google, literally. If you look up tier three countries, they'll give you all the countries and you can literally just copy and paste them right into here. Um, and that will exclude all of them. That's exactly what I do. And then the age is always very broad, always 18 to 65. Now, I know if it's a female or male product, I know like, if it's like really like that, like if, if I know for 100% a male product or female, then I will uh, change the gender. Um, but the age, not so much, just because you never, never know um, the demographic of a product until you test it, right? And I know for a fact, sometimes I set it to 18 to 65, and I think, okay, I know this product, like deep down, I think it's going to do like 40 to 50, sorry, uh, 44 to 65 plus, like that's like the age range. But actually, people who in their 20, in their 20s start buying it, like 25 plus, so like you never know, right? So it's something that's always um, interesting to me, right? So you, that's why you have to test when you do these things. And now it comes into the interest, so this always comes off, the expand your uh, interest thing always checked off, uh, and the reason for that is just because, I don't know, I just, I don't want it to target more interest while I'm doing this, I just want to see the exact interest where it comes from, and I don't need to target more people, um, I want to just target the specific interest. So what I'll do is, if I'm running a product, the product I know, for example, like let's just say uh, we're running a beauty product, so I will choose like beauty for example, right? I'll go to beauty and I'll choose beauty. And then what I'll do is I won't just use this interest because literally it's like 1.3 billion. Like that's really, really broad. I'll go to suggestions and I'll see what's related. So if the product is a skincare product, skincare is right there. And what I'll do is I'll keep getting more specific, like more narrowed until the audience is roughly about one to like 10 million, even like 20 million is pretty good. And I'll keep going. So now beautiful skin, natural skincare, all these, and I'll keep going down. And keep in mind, guys, these are only one, it's just one interest that I'm using. I'm not stacking any interests. I'm not narrowing. There's no narrowing by engaged shoppers. That's not really a thing anymore. I don't like to do that. And like I said, just keep narrowing down so uh, we see we see all these like facial, anti-aging cream, all that stuff, face, beauty salons. And now what I like to do for this, this is a really cool tool that I learned. Um, once you find an interest you think is like proper, like you want to use it, you can go to this thing called Audience Insights. And what this is, it allows you to see the demographics of the interest and also the people on Facebook too. So with that interest we just found, for example, beautiful skin, we could type that in the interest tab, like so, and we can see the different people who are interested in beautiful skin on Facebook. So now you can see that 94% of these people are interested in that are women. Um, not very surprising to me because a lot of women are interested in skincare and there's only 6% are men. Now keep in mind this is just United States so we can filter this by worldwide just by Xing that and you'll see that's only 10% now of men and 90% of women but which is still a pretty significant um, difference. Um, so again I would still I would still test male just in case you never know especially if it's a product like uh, like a face mask like men can use a face mask right um, but if it's more like a product like a jade roller or something or like something that like only like women can use I guess then I would just do that um, 
But then you can also see the page likes too. You can see what people are interested in uh, beautiful skin. You can see the related pages. For example, um, I don't know what this is, Moonier. Let's just see. We can open it up real quick. And um, it looks like they might be some sort of brand or like, okay, like hair brand. Okay. Um, I mean, generally, what I like to use, I just like to go to United States. Oops, I think I spelled that wrong. United States. Like that. If it comes up. Because, I don't know, I just feel like, like most of my buyers are from the States anyway, so like I just like looking up United States, see what they're interested in. Um, so like Urban Decay Cosmetics, Benefit Cosmetics, all that stuff, BH Cosmetics, blah, 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 right? So you see that Sephora, Ulta Beauty, okay, perfect. So whatever this is, go to that. And okay, so e Ite, I don't know what that is, but like let's look it up. Like it might even be in here like that. If it is, then it is. Right here, Ite Naturals uh, product, beautiful. That, oh, that's a... That's a perfect interest I would use right here. It's not too big and it's not too small either, so it's 800,000. I know I said a million to uh, 10 million, but this is still fine because it is a case sensitive interest. And what I mean by case sensitive is that it has capital letters that are um, specifically in here in the interest box. And this isn't an algorithm based interest. If you guys know the difference between those, an algorithm based interest is something that's made by Facebook, whereas something like this, an ETAA natural products, is made from a page. So this is exactly a page or a company. Um, there's a lot of algorithm interest, like example, like, we're, like we saw before, like just beauty, right? Um, that is an algorithm based interest that Facebook, oh my god, I'm really bad at spelling. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, I'm just terrible at spelling, guys. Beauty, 1.3 million, it's. it's 1.3 billion is made by Facebook, so that's algorithm-based interest. But anyways, you guys get the point. I went really in-depth in there. Anyways, uh, still use that, so that's one interest. And then I'll go to edit placements. And again, same thing as you've seen before. Um, only Facebook feeds and Instagram feeds, not a surprise. A lot of people still doing that. Um, don't be scared to test stories, though, because stories are really effective. Um, I would even recommend making a separate campaign for that if you can. Um, definitely see a lot of results that way. Um, and then this stuff here, I wouldn't really touch, like the connected to Wi-Fi, none of that stuff. The conversion, like what's it called, the um, one-day click, like seven-day view, like that stuff. I don't, I don't, I just leave it on whatever the ad account's on, and I press continue. And now I just have the ecom page selected here, so it's nothing crazy, like just whatever one of our pages. And I just put a sample video here for you guys to see. Um, and the URL we can just put like ecomstreet.com, whatever. I know it's not real. But uh, you guys get the point. That pretty much wraps up for this video, guys. I hope you guys learned a little bit uh, more about different strategies that you can use. That is something I really use. Um, and that's something that I used to use a while back, especially when I was testing on, uh, when I had a smaller budget when I first started. And it's definitely got me some pretty good results with that. Um, but like I said before, I do use different strategies now because I am using higher budgets. But that is a great strategy you guys can start off with this 2020. And I'll see you guys in the next video.